Hey guys, I'm Diana, an art director at Bustle and self-proclaimed thrifting expert. This is Thrift the Legend. Each week we are hitting up a national thrift store and I'll be given an envelope from producers to find out who I'm emulating. Let's see who I will be dressing as this week. Princess Diana! Princess Di. Lady Di. When I think of Princess Di, I think of big sweatshirts, blazers, oversized everything. She fits my personal style so much, so I'm really excited to show you how you can get Diana's look. Okay, okay, where to go, where to go? Um, hmm. Diana really had a style evolution. As she served as Princess of Wales and then moved away from the royal family, there was definitely a lot of change in how she dressed. As an art director, I'm always thinking about how visuals are telling a story. The story Diana was telling was, I'm just like you. Princess Diana is so iconic for her sweatshirts because she's a freaking princess and she's wearing sweatshirts like the common man. Oh, that's kind of fun. I feel like go oversized. I would do a black biker short, but I think I did love a pink. So if you do like a funky biker with like a pastel sweatshirt, that's something Diana would approve of. I think the difference between Diana's aesthetic and common aesthetics today is that she wasn't really thinking about labels. She just wanted to be comfortable and, you know, potentially look cute. If you're wearing something that's oversized, you can actually tuck it into the band of your bra. This look is extremely versatile depending on the weather or your vibe. So this is a little bit more casual, but I'm still feeling like a princess. Diana really wanted to be a little bit more sexy. I think she went a little bit more daring as time went on. She was just continuing to push boundaries. Finding jeans in a thrift store is not easy. You have to be very committed. So you have to make sure you're taking the time to try things on, find your size, and don't be afraid to get things hemmed. I think you can always just cut a little bit off, roll a little bit up, and the bigger the better. Okay, these are cool. High-waisted, I think that's another key Diana trait. The 80s and 90s, the mom jeans were in, but there was something about Lady Di wearing it that was very accessible. It made everyone want to wear it once she had it on. Oversized sweatshirt jeans. I've got them tucked into a cowboy boot. Hat. In her street style, she was really trying to take the attention away from something more form-fitting. You're looking for blazers. These are pants. Where are the blazers? Where are the blazers? Hmm. Oh, I see them. Do you not see this? Hmm. Maybe maybe something over here. We're not doing gender roles anymore, but the more masculine shapes. I feel like a boss in this outfit, and I would not normally wear cowboy boots, but this time I would. In her daily life, she wanted it to be about what she was doing instead of what she was wearing. A little kitten heel, high-waisted jean, do a little bit of a tuck. Designers are continuously drawing inspiration from her looks. In spring 2018, Virgil Abloh actually did a whole collection based off of Lady Di, and it really just proves that her style stands the test of time. The oversized sweatshirt, the biker short, the mom jean, a baseball cap, all these things can be kind of remixed in your wardrobe. I think we can all take some tips from Di in just picking what we like and not necessarily thinking about a brand. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you will go out and channel your inner Diana. Like and subscribe so that you can never miss a minute and let me know who you think I should be inspired by next.